So we're here at the Qualcomm booth, and uh, what are you showing here? So here we are actually showing the Snapdragon S4 uh, platform, and it's actually the latest platform that is available from Qualcomm, and it's also called the MSM 8960. It is the industry's first integrated LTE and the dual core application processor all tied up together. And what we actually are doing is, we are actually showing all the application processor capabilities over here. One of the technologies that we are also showing as part of the application processor is actually called gestures. And in this booth, we are actually going to show gestures which are both based on the front-facing camera and the ultrasound technologies. Now, in this first case, what you can really see is a camera-based gestures. Now, this is actually an email application and suppose your hands are dirty and you don't want to use the touch screen, you don't want to touch your screen, what you could do is you could just in terms of use your hands to in terms of just glide and you could actually in terms of scroll through your emails. Yeah. So you could actually in terms of just scroll and you don't actually have to again as you see, you don't have to touch it. You can also go back? You can also go back. So you can go forward, you can go back. Nice. It's just one camera? It's just the front facing camera that you're using to do that. So basically image recognition, something like that? So it's not image recognition, it's more of really you are, the camera is actually looking at more of a frame rate changes or frame rate conversion. So that's what exactly it's doing. It's seeing that obviously there was more of a uh, motion that actually happened. There was a frame rate that it was trying to capture. And there's a lot of statistical analysis that we do uh, to really uh, understand the motion and then we uh, capture it. So it's tracking really the hand movement. Where are you doing that analysis? In which part of the processor is doing that? So work? in this case, actually, uh, we are doing it on the the crate. The what? The crate, the crate processor, yeah. which is actually the uh, the ARM version of um, the Snapdragon. Now the main thing is like in terms of you could do it either on the ARM or you could do it actually on the DSP as well. So to do it on the DSP, you would need to re up to, uh, change the code. Yeah, I mean, like in terms of yeah, you will just do a DSP library of, it, but the Qualcomm's the S4 Snapdragon processor is actually like in terms of has got uh, what we call the hexagon processor and the library could be optimized and like coded in a very short time. What kind of uh, parameters do you have here? Is that secret? What goes on there? Can oh, parameters. Oh, this is actually in terms of, yeah, this is more of really something that we actually can tune it. It's yeah. more really for uh, tuning. Okay. So in terms of how fast the hand movement can be, uh, how further you want actually the gestures to be activated so we actually are uh, providing all of those capabilities to our OEMs. And uh, what are you showing there? So here we actually are showing gestures or actually what we also call the digital ultrasound. Now in this case, what we are doing is, can I just maybe go that side? So in this case, now what exactly happening is like in terms of, we actually have got an ultrasound emitter and we are using multiple microphones to do gestures. Is I'm actually writing on the screen, right? Yeah. Now what generally happens is I could come out of the screen and you can still see that I actually have the control and I could do gestures. Now I could zoom out, I could zoom in, and I can go horizontal, I can go vertical. So you can see that there is a lot of X, Y, and Z information that you are capturing using the ultrasound. Technology. So do you have like an, a field, electro field, electro so, field? Yeah, so in the of like it's ultrasound which are being read by the microphones. Ultrasound going from the tip to the pen tip, yeah. So we actually have more of the emitter gets activated. And what I could really also show you is, if you think about it today, most of the tablets you can see that probably they may actually have stylus. So yeah. with the stylus you can write on screen, right? What I could also do is, I could come off screen and I can actually write off screen as well. So suppose that you actually have a notebook or a notepad in your meeting and then you actually want to write on your notebook, you can actually do that as well. So, so here you are writing on the screen and what you did was you went off the screen and then in terms of you actually could see that I am writing on maybe a, think about it as a notebook. Are there I could actually skips have, or not? Sorry? Are there some skips sometimes or? No, it's actually in terms of, yeah, it's just, I mean, I'm just writing.
So the sensors are recorded so all around or where the sensors? So primarily you need, I would say, three to four Software, all of this actually gets uh, pre integrated and they can actually in terms of just enable this on their devices. So, how many of these crazy technologies are you working on? Like, because there's so many new UIs, right? It's yeah. not just touchscreen, now you have, you already have many different touchscreen technologies. They could be all this, you have like an RD center where you can try a lot of things. We do actually have RD center, but at the end of the day, the, the way we actually look at, approach things is based on the use cases and the user experience. Now, what are the areas uh, and the technologies that will actually make the user experience much more uh, interesting for people to really like in terms of use their devices? And it's more of really, I would say, very intuitive in terms of sometimes you never think about, okay, the user in terms of when maybe uh, someone actually has got maybe water in their hands or they actually are maybe in a kitchen and the hand is dirty and they can't use, uh, they can't touch the screen. Now, this is where in terms of you could use some of the gestures and you could do those things. Now, these are really, I would say, very common uh, things that in terms of people maybe don't think about. And that's what we are trying to do is like, we are trying to bring all of this uh, technologies on our platform so that our device manufacturers, our customers can enable this on their devices. How long is the battery on this? Oh, it can, like, it, it's a very long time. It can be running for months. Uh, months? Months, yeah, actually, yeah. Nice.